And um, like I said, we're going to need our supplies. We're going to be doing this project by um, John James Audubon. He was born in 1785 and he died in 1851. We're going to be doing a winter carnival. Cardinal, I was going to say carnival. Winter cardinal. And I'm going to turn the camera on to me so at least you know who is teaching. It's me, Larry Weinberg from the Rome River Arts Center. And I'm playing with my uh, needable eraser right now. We're going to be doing uh, uh, this project by John James Audubon, the Cardinal. Uh, it was, it is my wife's favorite bird, the Cardinal. Um, it was uh, her father's favorite bird. And Cardinals are just kind of wonderful, especially for us who live in Minnesota because they brighten up the winter. Uh, we see these beautiful red birds uh, during the, the winter that stay with us all the time. So we're gonna be going through that. I just wanna share a little bit about John James Audubon before we get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen. And there's my John James Audubon, share. Great, and I'm just gonna make this uh, uh, full screen so you can see it. This is, gives you a little bit of idea uh, of John James Audubon work from Birds in America. There's a, a painting of John James Audubon and some of the pages from it. Now these were all, like I said, uh, full sheets, 30 by 40 inches. Uh, um, he would draw these out and to meticulous detail. He was an ornithologist, so people still use his book on the details of certain birds uh, to this day, you know, uh, almost 180 years later, it's still being used. I'm gonna to go to the next slide. This is his most famous. This is uh, of his uh, flamingo. This one sold as a single, you can kind of get an idea of this, the shape of it. And he put different little drawings next to the painting, which is, I think, fascinating. As we look up in the, the corner here, as you're looking, you can see uh, that he had this, um, the wings, what it looks like flying, little details. And I just love how he did that. This last time it sold, I think the print, the original print, uh, was somewhere about eight hundred thousand dollars for the print that uh, from the original printing. This is another from Birds of America. He got into putting them into their environment. Some of them you'll see he was just doing it on a white background. Uh, this one here again is one where he did it from just putting them on a white background, but putting them on. Um, their natural habitat. And he put them really like uh, the beauty of like here, this uh, bald eagle has got a um, big catfish, it looks like there, which is amazing. Now I'm going to go next. And then here's what the, the book looked like. Um, 433 illustrations, Birds in America. It's been um, reproduced countless times. Here's one of his winter cardinals. Again, another one of his cardinals, that's the female. And this is the inspiration for today's painting is this cardinal with a little bit of snow, a little bit of green. We'll have some fun with it. Okay, I'm gonna stop my share and I'm gonna change my screen over and, and we're gonna get started. Hopefully everybody has got their materials. I'm gonna be checking in with you guys uh, throughout the class to see how the progress is going. So most of you, uh, you all have your, your um, screen, your cameras off and mics off. That's great right now. And then maybe uh, as we're going, I'll have you share what you're working on, and then we can shut them back off again. So let's 
get started. And I'm just going to see, I'm going to switch my camera. And again, we're going to be working with uh, line, shape, perspective, and color. These are the elements of art uh, that we're going to be working on today. And when I'm starting a drawing, I usually start light. But when I'm working on today's drawing, I'm going to be working with a heavy pencil so that everybody can see what I'm working on. Uh, I've got my black onyx. I usually like um, uh, F or uh, uh, HB pencil, but for today's, I'm going to start with uh, using this. And here's my paper, and then I've got my, my picture of the cardinal right next to it. You guys can follow along at least to start with, and then can take it from you where you want to go. One of the things I like to do is I'm going to kind of use this as my um, uh, template. And I'm going to do it in shapes. So I want to kind of box out some things. So I'm going to come over here and just kind of start with a triangle. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker so you can see it. So we're going to box out some shapes. OK, so you start with just a triangle. And you can see it. this is the top of the paper. This is the bottom of the paper. So then. The second shape I'm going to try is just going to be kind of a shape that is going to come just a shape like this. We're just kind of coming so you can kind of see. So the idea when you're, when you're doing these shapes is that you want to do these light because you're going to be erasing them, but they're, they're just what gets you going here. So then I'm going to be using the shape here, just this kind of C shape. And I'm going to create a shape of a wing, just putting it there as a placeholder. And then I'm going to do a placeholder here at the bottom. I'm going to go right off my page of my tail feather. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to work on starting back where I had my first shape, which was the head. And then I'll, I'll work on the body, the wing, and the tail. Once I do that, I'll come in and I'll add a branch. I'm going to come in and add a branch. And then we're going to work on a little bit of perspective. So the first thing we want to do now is let's go ahead and let's put in eyes first. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to use a, a sharper pencil so I can get a little bit sharper. And I'm coming up about midway, and the eyes. Now I'm going to be doing the eyes, and then I'm going to do the mask. So this gives me the ability to kind of look at it. So I'm going to then come and create the mask by just coming around the eyes like that. That's my first. So kind of just these little triangles around the mask. I'm going to come up and I'm going to do another triangle here. A little bit more rounded, maybe. So it's kind of like the star shape. And we're going to come out like this. and across. So we've got our two eyes. I'm gonna make them nice and dark. I've got my mask going around like that. Okay. So if we look at this, and you'll notice that right up here between the eyes is where the beak starts. So I'm going to make a dot right between the eyes up here, like that. Everybody can see the dot. And then I'm going to come down. I'm making kind of a triangle here. So I come with those two lines. It looks like he's frowning right now. I'm going to come 
down, not as far. So I've got three lines now. Then I come up and I come back up there. Okay. And then I complete it by coming across. So this is the tip of his beak right there. And we've got his head, the mask of his head. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna erase my triangle and I'm gonna kind of make it more like the cardinal it is. And I'm gonna come in with kind of a sketchy line like this. Coming down over there. And I'm gonna erase this line right here. And his, depending on the card, it's gonna, he can have a bit of a point there. So we've got kind of the, the head going. I don't need to have it exact yet. I'm gonna come back to it. Now, this one looks like he's on steroids right now. He's got these big muscles and everything else going on. My original cardinal here is a little bit chubby. I'm gonna make my new one a little bit less so I'm going to be coming and I'm coming inside of my shape. Just like that. And I want to just continue on. And I'm not really worried where my tail feather is right now. I'm just going to be, I'm more interested in getting my cardinal. So then I can see that I want to adjust my wing and I'm going to be bringing it in like this. I'm going to leave my original line so you can kind of just see how much it's changing. So I'm kind of making this, this kind of round, I'm going to come in. And, and I use these kind of feather lines that I'm kind of just using a number of little lines to create the shape that I want. Okay, so there I have my wing and I'm gonna continue with the body coming up like that. So we should have a head. This shape is kind of like this, this uh, um, backwards J shape here coming in. And we're coming in with this. And one of the things I like to do with, with a wing is that I'm gonna also kind of just come in with some J shapes. to create that wing shape there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and erase Oh, I miss somebody is uh, joining here. So I'm gonna come in here and they can catch up with us. So for those who are joining here, uh, we're working on our winter cardinal. We've gotten the shapes of doing the head, the body, the wing, and the tail. Now, from the tail, I'm going to go, speaking of the tail, let's kind of just go over here. And I'm just kind of coming over, and the tail is going to be this shape. I'm going to continue right off my paper and it's kind of because it's the inside of the tail so I it has this shape where you see this feather coming like this tail feather like this and tail feather coming over like that and this still the tail is behind the body 
So you're seeing the body feathers. Now with the body, one of the things we're gonna wanna do is create some feathers too, and I'm doing them light, but I'm using a C. And this is just gonna give me some texture. And I'll go over these when I'm doing my watercolor with watercolor paint, but I just wanna have a little bit of this. And the C's can go all different kinds of shapes, just getting that. Now his tail feather has got this one line coming down like that. Okay, so what we wanna do next guys is where we're at with this is I need to bring a branch that he's sitting on. And the branch is gonna come from over here. I'll bring a nice sharp pencil here. I want it to come right in this area here. So I am going to start with my branch like this. I'm coming over. And I'm just gonna bring my branch. Now birds, they weigh almost nothing. Even this cardinal does. Uh, so they can be on very small branches. It makes no difference really. I'm gonna bring this branch, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna have something coming up. Every time I do a, a drawing or a painting, I'm always making it a little bit different. You get bored if it's always the same. So I'm gonna come, then I wanna erase my bird. from in here. And now I can redraw these lines nice and dark so you can see it. Gonna give a little bit of texture to our branches. And even though it's winter, these branches have got some Still some leaves on them, at least mine do. I like the little bit of green uh, that we had with, uh, even when you saw that painting of John James Audubon, he had that little bit of there going on too. So I'm just gonna be bringing in some leaves, just some shapes, letting the lines kind of just happen here. Okay, so that kind of gives us the base here, and we're gonna come back and do some more detail, but I kinda of wanna check in with everybody, and I'm gonna just do a quick check-in, see how we're all going. I'm gonna to go to my gallery, and if you guys wanna share, oh, wow, that looks great. Let's see. Put it back a little bit from, there you go. Oh, that looks awesome. Nice job. Thank you, that looks great. Who else wants to share? Just can point your camera. You don't have to, let's see here. Oh, that looks awesome from Magdalena's camera and Nikki's. I see, oh, these look awesome, beautiful. Thank you, hi guys. Oh, that looks great. Perfect. There, I can see it really good. It looks awesome. Great, so everybody's kind of at, at the right stage here. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna start again with the head. And I just wanna add a few more little feathers. I'm just gonna do my lines. Just getting a little bit of lines up on the head, softening it up a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and erase, get rid of some of my lines that I don't want.
you know, when you, that's why uh, when I'm talking to people, I say, don't press so hard. I press pretty hard so that everybody can see, but it does make it a bit hard to erase when you do that. Now, one of the things you're seeing when I'm doing this is the difference between um, doing a pink pearl eraser like this one leaves these crumbs. Now, when I use my kneadable eraser, you're seeing there is no crumbs and that makes it nicer because you're able not to have to brush along your, your uh, picture. So one of the things we wanna do now is create a little bit of um, perspective in our drawing. So how do we do that? So you have to, to create idea perspective, we're gonna add these trees back here. And the trees, they have to be smaller because they're farther back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some lines and you can do your lines how you see fit, but I'm gonna come across, I don't like coming right at halfway, so I'm coming a little bit above half and coming across there with one. I'm gonna have another one that's gonna kinda of come down over here, okay? So I'm doing two lines. I might maybe make one even in the foreground here. Now I'm gonna work on these trees and these were like evergreens. I'm gonna be doing just uh, uh, a couple of um, non-evergreen trees by just coming up and I'm gonna be doing these just bringing some Y's and lines. And I wanna do, I like doing odd numbers. I don't know if you guys can, there's actually three trees in my picture. I'm gonna move it out of the way so I can get to that. So I'm just gonna be, and you can add somebody sledding. You can add um, even, I can do if I want have two of these and maybe an evergreen here by making this behind here. But I'm just adding these trees at the corner back here so that they seem smaller. Now you can actually add like a house, you can do different, like a fence here. Kind of just doing a couple of things back here to create kind of, so this kind of gives you a chance to create, you know, your own images behind here. You know, and maybe there's another tree over here. So I'm gonna come in with bringing Again, they're gonna be smaller because they're farther away. And that's one of the key things when we're looking at perspective is just creating this idea, the illusion that we've created space here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of watercolor to my picture. And I'm using this palette and I'll show you how I use the palette. Everybody's got a little different thing. So I'm using just a round brush. I like using like a 10 or an eight. I think this one's a 10. Is it? Doesn't tell me, it's a 10. And what I like to do is I'll go ahead and I'll just put a drop of water on all of my paints that I'm gonna be using. I'll put it on everyone because I don't know what I'm gonna use. I'll probably use almost all these colors. And so I'm just gonna get, so the idea is you wanna get the paint wet and then I'm gonna use the palette here. Please get feet. Pardon me? Can we please get feet? Feet. Feet. Yes, I knew I forget, I always forget something. When I got to painting them, I would have remembered that. Thank you. 
You're welcome. So what I'm going to be doing here, was that Hollis that was helping me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you, Hollis. So for the feet, I'm going to be coming over here and I want to come right at this edge here. I'm going to make a dot right there. And that's going to be where I'm going to start the foot. And it's going to come over. And I'm just going to use this kind of C. And I come over and I'm going to do one, two, and then he's going to have one behind there. So then I'm going to use my pencil, come like that. The other one is sitting over here and it comes over and he's got one. So I use the C again. So I'm coming right over the branch. This one, he's got his little third toe there, but I have to get it. So we get that coming over. So now he's not gonna fall off the branch. Now they don't typically even use their feet to hold on to the branch. It's more for balance. They can just sit on there and they're not really, especially when it's like going parallel like this, they don't really need to have uh, um, this, the feet clasping the, the branch. Typically when they're climbing is the only time they're really grasping it or if they're grabbing a berry or something off of it, usually they're gonna use their beak. So I'm gonna go back. Now that gave me perfect time to uh, let my water soak in to my palate. And I'm just gonna show you, I'll mix over here. And I, what I wanna do, when I'm working on this, I wanna work the background first. The last thing I'm gonna do is the bird. And the reason the last thing you do is then it is the thing that will be the closest to the viewer is done last. So it seems like it's coming towards the viewer even more. So I'm gonna get a little bit of blue and I want it to be pretty light. So I'm just gonna really water it here and just kind of put a little bit of blue up here. There's a kind of a little bit of a sunset going. So I'm gonna get a little bit of yellow in here too. off my brush, adding a little more blue. Perfect. And then I have my trusty Kleenex or paper towel just to dab because I just want to kind of make a very soft background here. So I'm just starting with my background. And, you know, with doing white, you don't need a lot of color and I'm going to use a little bit of just a little 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 bit of black here just to get a bit of a texture here and I'm just going to use my brush so I'm just tipping and you can use your brush so many different ways with watercolors here I'm just kind of using just a little bit of the black so the white comes through. And I'm gonna be going over these areas here. And by doing this, you can see how it's way too dark. I gotta really water that down. So I got it there, there we go. And again, I just wanna, Use my brush in this way here to get this. So I've got kind of my background going there. Now, what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll come in with my trees. And here I'm just using the tip of the brush. So 
So I'm just coming in with the tip. I'm gonna use a little bit of brown for my, okay, and then I'm gonna come over with that same brown. When you're using colors, I like to always kind of repeat different colors throughout because it helps balance off your picture. I'm just kind of gonna be adding some more. And then I'm gonna come, I'm gonna add a little bit of green over to my little, I'm moving over here. There. Now what I'll come back and do is I'll hit the green. And I like to use the same, color, like I said, in different spots to keep the interest in the whole painting by just adding just a little touches of color there, I'm able to do that. Now, one of the things we're going to do, and you can see it in this painting too, is that there's little red berries. And the red berries are nice because it helps offset the red that we're going to have in the bird so that your vision kind of sees other spots than just, so I'm moving this a little bit so you can kind of see here, is I need to come in with some red. I'm not gonna do a lot of red, just a few. I'm using again, just the tip of the brush. Then we'll go ahead and I'll use a little bit of the brown. Now, if you don't have brown in your set, the easiest way to do it is just to take your primaries, a little yellow, a little blue, and a little red together. And when you mix all those, they end up doing a kind of a nice brown. We'll make it a little bit darker. Kind of come over here. And I'll just kind of come across. So I'm just kind of adding a light. One of the nice things about is that sometimes I like seeing and in this case I do too, is I like seeing the uh, pencils because it gives a little bit more texture. Painting there. There we go. And he's got brown feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the brown right there. Now, one of the things that we're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and we'll do his body first. And I'm going to do it in phases. So I'm going to get some red. I want to go light first. And then I'll add more because this way we can create texture with the feathers. So I'm doing, as you can see, I'm, or you can't see. You can see I'm mixing my red up here. I might get a little bit of orange in there, just a little bit. Okay, but I want it pretty watery here so that uh, I can do a, a, a light shade here. And I'm gonna just take my brush and I'm going to, I'm doing the face last. And the reason I'm doing it last is that that black can really contaminate other colors. So what I'm gonna be doing is once I get done with the body, I'll just maybe dab it or use a hairdryer 
to dry it. And then I can go ahead and add my black. So I'm doing these and I'm gonna come in here and kind of do my tail feather. And then I'm gonna do the wing. So I kind of put a coat of paint on there. Oops, I almost lost my paint. That would have been bad. And then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna use more of a drier brush to kind of create more of the texture. So I'm gonna come in here with a little bit more of the red and I'm just gonna be kind of coming in with my second set over and it's doing some wet on wet. And the wet on wet when you're doing this creates some nice feather texture. I'm just kind of coming in here. As I'm just kind of bringing in brush stroke by brush stroke. I'm just using the tip. I can come in and just kind of come in because this kind of gives a, a the effect of a feather by coming and I'm kind of overlapping each brush stroke, just like the feathers lay on our cardinal. I'm just kind of coming over here. I'm gonna come down. And it's, you're creating this texture for him. Now, especially with these wings, I kind of want to come in and do each feather separately. So I'm coming over, coming in. I'm doing kind of the J shape. And what I will be doing, when I'm doing this, I like to do uh, three, maybe four layers of paint because that way we're just layering over and we're letting a little bit of the paint from each layer still find its way through. And it gives us that illusion of the 3D. So now I've gone over my bird a second time. I'm gonna go over it with my cardinal a third time. And now I wanna use less water. So the idea is each time, oh, that looks great. Look at that. Wow, those are looking great guys. You can always add more things to it too. So I'm gonna come up here with the head and I'm barely using any water and I'm just bringing the tip of my brush now, creating these feather strokes. So this way I can get And by time, I'm starting with the head because I figure by time I get here, it's going to be dry and I can go ahead and use my yellow and my black to finish it off. So I'm coming over here and I'm just going to use Following those pencil lines that I use too, I'm doing my and you can see that 
what you want to do is you don't want to cover up everything. You want to leave because that gives you the texture that you're looking for. Need a little bit of water here. So every time I add another layer, I'm using less and less water. So I'm coming in here and I'm gonna do another. And then here on the tail, I'm gonna do some little strokes here. Get it so that it Following and then making sure I don't cover everything. So then I'm just gonna add one more layer to the wing and then I'm gonna finish up the head. So I'm coming over here and I'm just going to go over the lines here. I'm not gonna go over the whole wing. I'm just going over the J shape. You guys can figure out what works best for you. Now I'm gonna clean off my brush. And I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red, and I'm going to do the beak. It's too much. My watercolor brush has a lot of, can hold a lot of paint. So I'm going to leave it like that. Just there, I've got my beak, and I want to dry it off before I put the black. So then I don't want full strength black. So I'm gonna go back here, but I don't want it to be real watery. So I'm gonna kind of mix it here. And then I'm gonna take my brush and just kind of get most of the water off so that it doesn't drip too much. So then I'll come in and I wanna do this in just, layers again. Just the tip of the brush. That. And then I come and I get all the water off the brush and then I'm gonna get just a little bit more paint. And I'll do it again that I'm getting the mask. And these are feathers too. So you just kind of, as you can see, I'm just coming in with some dots of black, create that texture there. So the Good. And then I'm going to finish it off with just a dot of yellow in the eyes. One of the things we want to do is we want to date. So today's date is the 15th. Is, uh, Already the middle of the month. There we go. So I'm going to put my date, my name, and the date today is 1 15. I got this 22. I've been doing 21 for a while. 
So I wanted to see if people could share what they've done here. This was a fun painting. I think the light is my, uh, the shine of the light here is uh, done. A, oh, these look great. I see the, the Mubinas there. They look great. I'm going to make this so I can see the, hang on one second, guys, so I can see it better. Uh, gallery, there we go. Oh, wow, that looks awesome. Magdalena there, that looks awesome there with the tree. See the green comes through, the red, all these look great. Nikki, those look great from you guys over there. Awesome, let's see the next. I can see you're still working on it. Okay, love it. Well, this was awesome, guys. I wanted to thank everybody for, for joining me today. Oh, look at that one, Linda, that looks great. I think that these uh, cardinals are, are kind of, uh, are, are kind of sunshine for the winter because they bring that little ray of color into our, our, our winter dreary sometimes days. Today is nice and sunny, but it's really nice to see this uh, Cardinal. As I go on the walk around the art center, there's a bunch of Cardinals here, which makes it so much fun. But I wanted to thank everybody for joining me today. Oh, look at that, that looks awesome. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. We're going to be doing another one in the middle, the middle of uh, February for our next one. OK. Thanks again. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.